Ready? These pictures are from my vacation to Alaska to see the Northern Lights. In case you didn't know, the Northern Lights form when the sun, when charged particles from our sun hits the nitrogen and oxygen molecules in our atmosphere. This creates a usually green glow. However, there were a few challenges in me seeing this, such as the fact that I had to wake up all, stay up all night to see it. Also, there's absolutely no guaranteeing that you'll ever see it. And not to mention the fact that it was really, really, really cold. Today, however, we're going to make a 100% guaranteed lead aurora in our lab. Our ingredients are some ethanol, cupric chloride, and some aluminum balls. It's a big one. Mm -hmm. Why I chose cupric chloride was because of copper's light flame color. When copper is excited and then and it becomes back to its normal state, it releases a green light. This will make it resemble the northern lights. So th this is why copper became the chosen one. Mm -hmm. So, well, and also, aluminum will help expel the copper ions and make the flame glow more green. So, let's make it. First off, we have to pour alcohol into our beaker. Now, I strongly recommend using a beaker because we tried it with the flask and it didn't let any air in. And which caused the alcohol well, to burn less. So please use an open glass container as wide as possible. Next, we gotta add our cupric chloride. It's toxic. Yes, it is in fact toxic. It is toxic to us and it is also highly toxic to aquatic life with long lasting effects. Therefore, Cupric chloride solutions should never be washed down the drain. Sorry. <clears throat> and also, because cupric chloride is toxic, always remember your safety precautions. Now we have our copper tube chloride solution ready to go. Now, our, my brother will add the aluminum balls. Okay. Now, here comes the best part, ignition. Let's ignite it. Oh, green. For more info on excited particles, click here for the fireworks video. Product trial. Mm -hmm. See you. Subscribe see you. and like. And see you in our next chemistry experiments. Bye. Bye.